Good Hi. afternoon and welcome to Architalks, where today we'll be talking about renowned architects. In the 21st century, a wide variety of building materials are used for their aesthetic properties as well as their structural functionalities. One of the least favorite aesthetically used materials is concrete, which is usually used for its structural properties. Concrete is usually almost painted over due to its dull grey finish. Today, we'll discover one famous architect who has managed to manipulate concrete to produce aesthetically pleasing visual results. Hi, I'm Trevor. And I'm William. And we will be your host for today. Born on September 13, 1941 in Osaka, Japan, Mr. Ando was brought up among strong Japanese cultures and beliefs which he incorporates those in all his work. In spite of never having taken proper training in the field, he was strongly influenced by Frank Lloyd Wright design Imperial Hotel on a trip to Tokyo as a second year high school student. In time, he decided to end his boxing career of less than two years after graduating from high school to pursue a career in architecture. He attended night classes to learn drawing and took correspondence courses on interior design. He visited buildings designed by famous architects like the Corbusier, Ludwig Smith van der Rohe, Frank Lloyd Wright, and Louis Hahn. Before returning to Osaka in 1968 to establish his own design studio, Tadao Ando Architect and Associates. Tadao Ando has created a unique style of his own, which is primarily in reinforced concrete. He finds spaces in unique new ways that allow constantly changing patterns of light and wind in all his structures. From homes and apartment complexes to places of worship, public museums, and commercial shopping centers. A further look on his style, we can see that large plain unpainted concrete walls are cleverly dressed so that they have clean raw finish. Despite concrete being his most favoured material, Tadao also incorporates other materials such as steel, glass and wood when needed. And those concrete is often referred to as smooth as silk. He believes that the quality of construction does not rely on the mix itself but rather on the formwork into which the concrete is cast. Tadao Ando has managed to evoke the natural world by manipulating light into space. Built in the shape of a cylindrical drum, the meditation space found in the picture here is a strong representation of Tadao's simple yet intriguing design. This is an abstract space that suggests loneliness and spiritual freedom Nature has a key role in this work, and though used architecture as a mediator between the natural environment and man, and find the direct meeting between them. Mr. Ando has completed many projects of different types and functions. Tara Ando has the tendency to creatively manipulate basic geometry shapes into experiential spaces. We can see this in the 4x4 house. Based on his Zen-like architecture, the 4x4 house design tends to have a basic external facade but an elaborate interior. In a space-constrained society, the 4x4 design has made its mark by requiring minimal usage of space. Despite concrete being the main building material used by Tadao Ando, in this example, Komyoji Temple, we can see how he clearly projected the natural beauty of wood through the building. Amongst the hundreds of completed buildings of Tadao Ando, the Church of Light and the Church on Water both stand out as his most iconic works. The Church of Light was built on a very limited budget. It is of typical Tadao Ando style being made up of somewhat basic geometric concrete body with manipulation of natural light. Approaching the building, there is a strong sense of symbolism. The Church of Light embraces Ando's philosophical framework between nature and architecture through the way in which light can define and create new spatial perceptions equally. The concrete construction is a reinforcement of Ando's principal focus on simplicity and minimalist aesthetic. 
However, the way in which the concrete is poured and formed gives the concrete a luminous quality when exposed to natural light. Arnold's decision to place the cross on the east facade allowing for light to pour into the space throughout the early morning and into the day, which has a dematerializing effect on the interior concrete walls transforming the dark volume into an illuminated box. Arnold's approach to light and concrete in the Church of Light as well as his other project has a surreal effect that perceptually changed materials into immaterials, dark into light light into space. Tado's incorporation of nature with the field is clearly expressed in one of his best work yet, the Church of Water. Found sloping down towards a small river in a clearing of beech trees, the element of nature apparent in all the architecture of Tadao Ando initiates subliminal experience in the Church of Water in Tomamu, Japan. To the west, the church is surrounded by hills and trees, and a resort hotel lies to the east. The church, deviating from the general cruciform shape, is in the form of two overlapping cubes, faces a large pond which steps down towards the small natural river. The larger of the two cubes serves as the chapel and meets the entrance of the smaller cube with a semicircular spiral staircase. In order to separate the church from the hotel that rests behind it, a long L-shaped wall runs alongside the south and east of the buildings that line the edge of the pond. To gain entrance to the church, the visitor enters under a glass and steel cube at the northernmost end. As we can see, Mr. Taro Arnold is a very, very successful and prominent architect of the 21st century. He has won many awards to acknowledge his dedication in the field. Tadao has revolutionized modern architecture and his name will forever be engraved in the minds of all architects. Arigato. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time to Architects! Where are you going? To be an architect. <laughs>